Today I'm gonna be making a Mississippi pot roast for lunch at the church. You need two packages of ranch dressing. I happen to have the dips and the seasoning. It doesn't matter, just two of these. Two ranch dressings, two packages of au jus gravy. I happen to have two different kinds, it doesn't matter. And then I got this Nolan Ryan pot roast on sale and it's still quite expensive. But Brenda Gant said to always look for the stuff on sale. And then I'm gonna put an onion under it to give it a base just to hold it above the heat. And you need one of these jars of pepperoncini peppers. So this is gonna be delicious. I almost forgot you need a stick of butter. The first thing you do is season your chuck roast with salt and pepper on both sides. And I love this salt and pepper shaker. These are good ones that grind it up for you. And do this side too. And then, <laughs> and then you take it over there to the stove and sear it. You get that fire going real good. And then once it's good and hot, and I ordered one of these little thermometers where you literally can point it at the, at the pot or stove or water or whatever you're cooking, and it tells you how hot it is. So it's ready for the pot roast to start searing. Let's do it. Yeah. So you sear it on both sides, get a good sear going, and then you stick it in the crock pot. That's all there is to it. Go to church, come home, and you get to eat. My pan was greasy, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. I know I should have done this before, but it's not, I need to get it going on both sides real good. Need a little bit of oil. Yeah, get it going on both sides. The first time I had this recipe, which is Mississippi pot roast, I went over to Jimmy Yeary and Sonia Isaac's house and they had it. I was over there having dinner with them because I was on Jimmy's show. Uh, you know, Jimmy Yeary has that show called Yeary Chapel. If you've never watched it, it's one of the best shows that, that's on Facebook. But anyway, um, they had this cooking and I love it. This is my favorite pot roast, Mississippi pot roast. Turn that fire down a little bit. This stove will get up and go, y'all. Okay. Oops. <laughs> cooking time. We need to turn this on. That's it. This kitchen is new and it is so much fun. I really am having the best time cooking in it. So you get that all brown on all the edges too. Make sure you get it seared. I don't know if this does anything or not, but you can also skip this step and go right to the crock pot. But I always do this. I always sear the meat. Don't know why, but I do. And I like to put a bed of onions underneath the uh, meat so it won't stick or burn at the bottom of the pan while we're at church. I don't know if it actually would do that, but I like onions. So what I do is I just make a bed for the roast to lay on. And also I like to take garlic and stick it in the, and make slits and put it in the pot roast too. 
So I guess we'll just do this like that, and then do this like that. Then we have four little things for the pot roast to lay on. Look, see? Then take the onions and just, you know, make a little bed for your pot roast to, to rest on while it's cooking. That's all you gotta do. So it won't burn. I don't know if it would burn anyway, but onion makes everything better. Once you got the meat in there, you add the seasonings, just sprinkle the seasonings of all four packets of seasonings, uh, the au jus and the ranch dressing on top of your meat. And then I pulled the onions out from under the meat because I started getting nervous that they were gonna, you know, protect the meat too well from the heat. So I just moved the onions around it. So then you pour the entire jar of pepperoncini peppers on top of it. You just put the lid on after you've set it for four hours. If you have four hours or all day, if you got all day, do the eight hour setting. And then when you're home from work, it's ready. So that's all you do. Then you go to church, come home and eat. So I just got home from church and I'm gonna check out the roast. Let's look at it. Ooh, it looks good. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put you right there and let you see that I got two potatoes. I'm gonna cut them up, put them in the juice in there with the, uh, the meat and cook in the last hour. And then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes out of these potatoes and see how that goes. That, cut them like that, and then cut them into chunks. We'll go cook. One more potato. My knife skills probably aren't as good as Brenda Gantz, but I can get the potatoes cut. Hold on, let's just do it like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. And then you just, for the last hour, I figure, while the meat's finishing cooking, these potatoes will be cooking. So I'm just gonna drop them right in here. Probably an easy way to do this too. Hold on. Get them all in there. So we have delicious. I think the flavor of these mashed potatoes could be interesting. You know, rather than just boiling them in water, put them in here on the last hour with the, uh, with the beef and let it cook that way, you know? And then when you mash them, it'll have all that delicious flavor from the, from the different seasoning, the au jus and the ranch dressing seasoning. It's gonna be good, y'all, as Brenda Gant would say. So to go along with the Mississippi pot roast, I also made purple whole peas which are made with bacon and all kinds of deliciousness like onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and you cook them and let them cook for about an hour. So here it is, the final product, the roast. Look at all that steam and the potatoes, the Mississippi pot roast. All right, now I'm supposed to taste it, right? And what they do at the end of all these videos, these cooking videos. So let me take a little piece off and just get, cause it's so hot, but it's so tender. Just falling apart. Cook all through Lisa Harper's sermon. It just kept on the cooking. Look at that, look at that. Hot, hot, hot. Oop, get it over here.
Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those flavors of that au jus and the ranch dressing, y'all. It really is good. Bye-bye.